What we're looking at here is a data sufficiency question that is almost purely conceptual. You don't need to put a lot of effort into figuring out what numbers to plug in or anything like that. You just need to look at the global level of, okay, well, what's the idea behind what it's asking? And then you'll be able to answer it with very little trouble. Let's start with it. That's pretty straightforward. It's saying is k greater than three, okay? Then, okay, the sum of four and k equals the square of an integer. So we'll say minus four plus k is equal to m squared. And we're assuming that m is integer, but we don't really need to write that down. So the important thing here in statement one is that this is gonna be invariably positive. We know that's positive because it's a square, right? So if the sum of minus four and k equals the square of an integer, then minus four plus k must also be positive because the right side is positive. So that means that k itself has to be greater than zero, which means that, so the left side has to be greater than zero, which means that k itself has to be greater than four. So essentially what we're saying is that k is greater than four, which implies obviously that k is greater than three. This is sufficient for sure. Now, k equals the square of an integer. So essentially we're saying k equals m squared. That doesn't really tell us anything because k equals the square of an integer. In that case, k could be zero, k could be one. There's any number of things it could be. It could also be, of course, nine or 25 or something like that. But we have situations where it's less than three like these and we have situations where it's greater than three as well. So that's not actually going to be sufficient to answer the question. So this one's out. The answer then is A, statement one alone is sufficient, statement two alone is not sufficient. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, if you found it useful, you can check out more information at yourgmatcoach.com. You can also find out information about private tutoring at privategmattutor.online. The information's in the card uh, that you see during the video. It's also in the description as well. So feel free to check those out, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.